Hello everyone, this is Gingeropolis, and I'm going to make a video to describe how to install a virtual machine to install Linux so that you can play with Monero on Windows. So let's get Monero.org, uh, English. Um, and so before I start, one of the things you have to do is enable virtualization in your BIOS. So I'm just going to Google and BIOS and so it really depends on your BIOS but if you can get to your BIOS then you should be able to find the virtualization tab and turn it on let me see if there's any any good images why did you go to Yahoo hmm. yeah so it's this kind of stuff you'll see advanced BIOS features uh, what we got here virtualization technology so reboot your computer when it boots up hit F1 or whatever it takes to get to your BIOS and enable virtualization this will allow you to get 64-bit uh, Linux in your virtual machine if you have a 32-bit processor um, you might still be able to do it but I don't know alright so back to this go to the forum support I put this link in my little thread that I maintain. Okay, how to install a virtual machine in Windows. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so this is just something I googled and I found. Um, so the first step is to download this virtual box. And this always takes a while. Yep, so Windows, so you download that in the interest of time. I've already downloaded it. So I saved you here on the desktop. And I'm going to run it as the administrator just because. And it's going to want all this crap. And yeah, proceed the installation. Do it. Okay, it's done. Okay. Oh, it already has this from last time. Alright. All right, so this is what you should see when you uh, you load into it. Okay, so now you have VirtualBox working. Okay, so we should have VirtualBox installed now. So I'll go to next, and so create new machine. So let me load back this back up. Now we're going to call it Linux Monero. Yes, we went to Linux. Yes. Uh, 2.6? 3.x? I don't know. Yeah, other Linux. Yeah, do other Linux because we're going to use Lubuntu. Um, it says to do 512 as a memory size. So we'll stick with that. Should be able to compile. Ah. Well, we'll make it a gig. Or whatever a thousand is. And we'll make a virtual hard drive. And that looks good. Sure, dynamically allocate it. Um, so the blockchain is huge. So we'll just make it be able to go up to 15. Go to create. Okay, so you go back to these instructions, blah blah blah, I kind of just did all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you gotta download Ubuntu. I'm using Lubuntu for this, so just go to Google, Google, Ubuntu download, there it is. Okay, download, and then scroll down. You'll do this PC 64-bit right there. So it'll download that image file. But again, in the interest of time, I've already downloaded it here. Um, so now we go to, uh, where do we go? Settings? 
Sure, settings. And we go to storage. Click on that. Then we click on that. Oh, well, that's already there, but I'm going to look for it on my desktop. There it is again. Okay, we hit OK. And then we hit start. Oh, look at that. It's virtual and it's a box. English, okay. So here's where you could do a live CD or install it. So we're just going to install it. So I'm using the arrow keys to select there. Oh, this is capture the keyboard. Great. Mouse pointer integration. Oh, good. Well, then don't do that. I'm going to pause it while it's doing this. Because it's doing stuff. I don't know what it's doing. Oh. Never mind. Didn't have to pause it. Okay, well, I assume it's doing something. Ooh. Got a spinny disk. Ah. So now we're installing Loop Ubuntu. Yeah, I'm going to read release notes at some point. I have all of that. Do I want to download updates? No. I should probably stop breathing into this thing. What? Hmm. Well, I assume that's what we should do. Now let's see what this guide says. Oh, you're picking up my keyboard. Aren't you fancy? Are you still recording? Good, you're still recording. All right, so. Na, 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 na. The VM will act like any computer. That's good. That's it. Okay. Well, then I guess we're on our own. So yes, erase the disk. So you could encrypt it. So if you wanted to keep your Monero super secure on your VM, do right there. Yeah, let's say I'm in New York. Good enough. New York's the center of the world. Huh. Am I working? Yay. Come on. My username? I am Gingeropolis. I want to pick a password. Uh oh. Yeah, of course it's a weak password. Sure, encrypt my password. Encrypt my home folder. Why not? It's good for. It's good to keep things encrypted. I wonder what's taking up. Huh? Oh, it's not too bad. Okay, things are copying. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, so that took a while, but it wants us to restart, so I don't know how it's going to work in a virtual machine, so we'll just hit restart, see what it does. And looks like it's doing a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Will it restart on its own? I do not know. Should I pause it? I'm going to pause it. Okay, so I waited about a minute. And I found with Linux, if nothing happens within a minute, usually something's wrong. So, I'm going to go here to reset. Uh, yeah, sure, reset. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I don't... You told me that before. Okay, very good. The mouse disappears. Ubuntu is booting. Who? What was that? Oh, there we are. Look at that. We have a thingy. A full screen. This. What is this crap? Why is this so tiny? I want you bigger. Hmm. View. Scaled mode. Okay. Oh, look at that. 
Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, hopefully I can delete that. Well, whatever. Okay, we did that. You know, you should do that, because it's important stuff. Oh, look at that. No, that's ugly. Hmm. Well, well, we'll stay in this tiny... How did it say we can get out of this thing? Uh, escape. Hmm. Well, I forgot how to get out of this scaled view. Oh, I'm trying to figure it out. Hold on. Okay, so apparently it's the right control C, right control, and then C. Oh, okay. Now, full screen. Do that. Okay, so host F to get us out of here. This is not. This is not what I want. Hmm. You know what, maybe. All right, well, we're just gonna work with this as it is. So, we're gonna load Firefox in our new thing, and then we'll go to getminero.org. And so we're going to download the Linux 64. binaries that are already compiled. Uh, we only saved a gig RAM for this. 